Hello, boys and girls. Um, welcome back. I hope you had a really fun, relaxing spring break. Um, so this week, we're going to move away from the topic of coins um, and counting money. And now we're going to be talking about clocks and how to tell time. And so in this lesson, we're going to be focusing on two types of clocks. Um, but first, let's talk about all the different types of clocks that we see um, in our lives, okay? And so some of you, I noticed, wear a hand watch. Um, there's also a digital clock um, that you can see on your cell phone, on the microwave, um, anything digital. Um, you'll see the digital clock. Um, this one is uh, the most popular clock, which is a wall watch a watch or a clock on the wall, um, but it's actually the correct word is analog clock. And so this is a traditional clock that we use. Um, there's also alarm clock when you, um, when you need to know what time to wake up. Instead of your mom saying, wake up, wake up, you can hear the um, alarm clock ringing. Um, there's also stopwatch. We use this when we do activities like beat the clock or when we're reading word. Uh, when we're reading uh, reading fluency and we're timing ourselves how many words per minute we read. Um, there's also hourglass clock and I'm sure some of you seen this while you're playing games, okay? But for this lesson and this week, we're only going to be focusing on two types of clocks, digital clock and analog clock, okay? Um, clocks are very important because they help us to tell the time. Um, many of you would sometimes ask your teacher or your parents, what time is it, right? Um, it's important to know what time is it. For example, if you are interested in knowing uh, what time you're going to be eating dinner, um, then you might be looking at the clock and seeing if it's almost time for dinner. Or um, a lot of you are always wondering um, when we're going to recess. Um, so it's important to know um, how many more minutes you have left until um, you go to recess or um, or how many more minutes you have left when you're um, reading a book. And so time really helps you to know where you are throughout the day and throughout the night to know your schedule. Um, so yeah. All right. So this one is an analog clock. And this one is a digital clock, okay? So today we're gonna to be focusing on digital clock, okay? We're gonna be focusing on digital clock, okay? All right, okay. Um, okay, all right, so clocks are, um, are um, um, measured by time. And so it's important to know hours and minutes, okay? So clocks um, are measured by hours and minutes and also seconds, okay? And milliseconds, but we're just gonna be going over hours and minutes, okay? So hours, there are 24 hours per day um, and minutes, there are 60 minutes in one hour, okay? So this is important for us to know. Um, Next, okay, so let's go over digital clock, okay? So this is a digital clock, okay? So let's look at what it says right here on the right. Um, okay, the hours are to the left of the colon, okay? So this is a colon, those two dots on a horizontal, I mean, sorry, vertical, okay? So the hours are on the left, so the hour is three, and then the minutes are to the right of the colon. So this is the minutes, so it's 30, okay? And so um, the way you read it is the time is 3.30, okay? 3.30, okay? Um, digital clock is a lot easier to tell the time um, because you should already know your how to recognize numbers. Um, you can see digital clock on your cell phone or microwave at home. Okay, so we talked about this already. All right, moving on. Um, okay, 
So this one, I um, chose this example because this one's a little bit tricky. Okay, so let's look at the colon again. So we know this is the colon, okay? And then we know the left of the colon is the hour, which is four. We know that the right of the colon is minutes, okay? If you notice, the minutes is zero, zero. So we don't say four, zero, zero. We don't say the time is four, zero, zero. Um, does anyone know what you say when you see a double digit of zero? It's actually, you say, o'clock. So the correct way to say it is four o'clock, okay? So anytime you see the minutes um, with the double zero, then it's o'clock, okay? All right, so now what I want us to do is we're gonna go to our IXL, and for uh, to this week, we're gonna be focusing on Q, okay? So for this lesson, I need you to do Q1, okay? I noticed on your IXL, some of you have been doing other math practice on IXL. Um, that's good, but just remember, you need to do um, these specific lessons before you do any of the other practice, okay? All right, so same thing. You can uh, press the speaker if you need help reading it. Which clock shows nine o'clock? Okay, so remember, o'clock is when it's double zero. So this has double zero. So I'm gonna press this and then submit. All right. Which clock shows six o'clock? So which one has a six in the hour? There's the six and then o'clock. Okay, all right. So you, um, you should know how to do this right now. Um, if you watched my video lesson, um, so I'll see you next time, boys and girls, and thanks for watching this video. Bye.